So to understand strings and the very powerful operations that Python provides for us, let's take a look at this code. Later on, I will share this link for you. This is on Python Tutor and you can actually step through the code. But since this code is just a series of statements, the data flow and the control flow is very simple. And by now, I want you to have the confidence of mentally tracing this very accurately once you understand the syntax that is being introduced here, which we will explore. So here, of course, we first ask for a name. And let us say I type in the name Jasminder. Then I come to the next line and I calculate the length of that name. Remember, the input function returns a string, so name is attached to a string object. So the length of that name turns out to be 9. How did we print this? Well, on line 3 we have a print statement that prints the length is whatever is this value and that prints 9 and you can confirm by counting that Jasminder has 9 letters in it. Now, on line 4 we print the first letter of name and the syntax is name square bracket 0. Why 0? Shouldn't the first letter be name 1? Well, it turns out that strings are indexed starting from 0. So we say that in the name Jasminder, the letter at index 0 is J, the letter at index 1 is A, and so on all the way up to the letter at index 8. Why not index 9? The length after all is 9. Well, remember we started indexing or counting from 0. So if a string has length 9, we will only go up to length minus 1. So the last letter in general will be name square bracket length minus 1. So this square bracket notation, something that we haven't yet seen, allows us to index or peer into the string at any given letter. We say name square bracket 0 when we want the first letter and we say name square bracket whatever the length is minus 1. Now here I have calculated the length in a variable and used that value in this expression. I could have just said len of name minus 1 directly. That of course is less readable. This way the code is a little bit more readable. But since we often want the last letter in a string, Python gives us an alternate syntax. Python says you can also print just name square bracket minus 1 and that will also print the last letter as R. So the way to think about this is in addition to indexing the strings using non-negative index numbers 0 to whatever the length is minus 1, Python also allows you negative indexing where the last item in the string is at index minus 1, the second last is at index minus 2 all the way up to in this case minus 9. Why? Because now we're counting from minus 1 and the string has length 9, so we will go all the way up to minus 9. So to make sure we have understood this idea of indexing and negative indexing, let's test our understanding. So in general, if I give you a string of length n, what is the range of valid indices? Which of these conditions does it satisfy? And to help you test your understanding, remember the example that we just saw with Jasminder. These are the non-negative indices that are valid and these are the negative indices that are valid. No other index outside this range is valid. So keep this example in mind and see if you can figure out what the general answer should be.